Hi, Kim. Can we get some yo's? Hello. First again, ain't no way. It is gonna be a very short stream. How I feel? I'm feeling good. Hi, Kobobo. Can we get some yo's? Hello. I'm very tired. You live late? Yeah. Yeah. I'm rocking another bun today because I'm tired. Yesterday, I hung out with my friend. We got hamburgers and they were very good. But they were also really expensive. But you know what? They paid. But then I tipped. I tipped the waiter $20 because she was really nice. And then today, I like slept in because I was tired because I was out late with my friend. And then my sister and I watched the first three episodes of Fallout, and then I was like, shit, I need to do my Pokemon berry harvesting. <laughs> so I was like, I'm sorry, I need to click go live and harvest berries, and then we can watch more of it. Now, I've never played any of the Fallout games, so like, I don't know any of the lore. But it's like, interesting enough. You know, it, it's chill. So yeah, that's why I'm live late, because <laughs> I almost forgot. Oopsie. So guys, it's going to be a short stream. The plan is simple. Going and watering all of my berries and harvesting. I'm not going to plant any berries today, because... Oh wait, maybe I should. No wait, I shouldn't. No wait, maybe I should. Okay, because I'm, I'm going to be doing Peace Lock tomorrow, Monday, and then Tuesday as well. Yeah, I should plant berries today. Dang. She. Okay, so I will plant berries today. I thought I wasn't... Because, like... My schedule is different because I donate plasma on, like, different days of the week. I don't know why. Because you can just walk in and donate whenever. So... Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> if you don't get beat the game before your birthday, shut up. Shut up. I'll do it. Fingers are not crossed, but it's, uh, I don't know, I, I genuinely did not think it would take me this long. Like, I'm not even joking. Mac is about to be VIP forever, you know what, I bet they would love that. They hate to admit it, but they love the badge, don't they? Okay, N enough yapping. Timer's begun. You know, we're gonna hit 91 hours today. Isn't that cool and sick and epic? Okay, I'm back in Mallville City. I'm gonna go to the far right first. I like that path. Hell yeah. Almost a hundred hours? I know, man. <laughs> Don't gotta remind me. Wait, Magpurp is paralyzed! No! I gotta go heal, I forgot. Oh yeah, cause Magpurp got paralyzed on like the last fight. Shit, okay, I gotta go heal. Pokemon is gonna be your most played game? Like, for real! On God on God! And it's just gonna be for this one Pokemon game. That's so pathetic. Like, I know it's fun to be like, 90 hours, 100 hours, a little mal, but... But like, how sad is that? I can't even beat a kid's game. I think it's Supermarket Simulator. I have like 60 hours. I could check on my Steam account. But I actually could. Also, I posted like my stream account name in hopes that people would like gift me games. But nobody has done that and I'm very disappointed. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't even know if your wish list can be public or not. I think it's public to your friends, but I'm not sure. No pero recordar, pero I was jokingly gonna put a bunch of like 
H E N T A I games on my wish list, but then I decided not to. Also, when I was turning my laptop, I like, I was thinking to myself, imagine how many people like don't wipe their devices before they return them. And then also like, think about all that they see. <laughs> <laughs> that they see like the people who have to refurbish the devices holy moly anyway let's play Pokemon I mean I've, I've kept most every device that I've had the only one that I've turned in is that laptop mainly because I'm so paranoid of like not wiping it properly Ooh, berries. Like, it was honestly very difficult to wipe the MacBook Pro. Like, I had to do like 10 different steps. But then I was also thinking, like, I know there's so many, like, stories of people being like, oh, I accidentally deleted everything on my computer. It's like, genuinely, how do you do that? <laughs> You can't accidentally do that. Why can't you just factory reset? Oh, that's what I did. That's also what I did. I deleted everything first, and then I reset it. Uh-oh. And then I also kept all my school working files, like all my Photoshop files, all my Premiere files. That way, if I need it for a portfolio, I can go back and get it. So I had like 16 gigs of like just school files. Sorry, I'm thinking. And it took, no joke, like 13 hours for it to transfer over. No! Now you only have one laptop? I know, now you guys can't clown on me for it. But I still have two phones, one laptop, two private jets. You know... I'll be honest, a big reason why I didn't turn in that laptop sooner is because I liked the two laptop meme. I liked pulling it out for the joke. It was such a funny visual gag in my opinion. It was like top 10 piece and jokes of all time, I think. But you know what? Oh wait, I told you guys. My sister bought the camera last night. Or I didn't tell you guys. So we're gonna get it this week. And she's really excited. And what's cool is that the actual camera, like, the body and the lens cost $700. And then the warranty, I think, was $60 for two years. Which is not too bad. So, she only had to pay, like, $380. And then my roommate is gonna go houses on it, I think. Is it better than your camera? Well, it has pros and cons, is what I'll say. Like, it's a very good- it's the Sony ZV-E10 model, so it's- it's marketed as the influencer vlogging camera, so it has really good steady cam. it has like a decent built-in mic, but it's not as good for like actual picture taking, because you know how most DSLRs, they have like the digital screen and then like a little viewfinder that you go like this? It, they don't have the little viewfinder on this model, which is wow to me because this this is primarily like a video camera you would use it for um but you can still take pictures with it you just have to look through the viewfinder instead of the oops and oops sorry <laughs> instead of through the i don't know what it's called the little thing but you know it's definitely on the cheaper end for a dslr build like if you want to just get the the base camera with a normal lens that doesn't come off, it's only $400, so which is like pretty good for a Sony camera. Like, it's definitely on the lower end for a newer model, too. But, like, mine is a Sony A6400, so like, it, you can basically do whatever, whatever you want with it. Cameras are so expensive. I have a conspiracy. Now, you guys can't, like, give me the side eye or whatever. But I think camera equipment is so expensive 
because so many people use it as their hobby. I want you guys to think of the people in your life who say photography is their passion or hobby. And think about what demographic they fit in. Middle class. People who have disposable income. It's kind of like how they make... It's kind of like how they make things concerning entertainment really cheap. Like, you know how, like, plasma HD 70-inch TVs are like two, three hundred dollars? They make them more accessible, that way more people buy it. But also, like, a camera is like a one-time purchase. It's not like a subscription thing. So, like, it kind of makes sense why it's a bit more expensive in that way. Because if you sell five cameras, you're making, like, 500 times five. So, 2,500 bucks for that store. Right? And there's, like, no subscription service that I know of for cameras. It's only for the software that you would use to edit the camera. Um, what should I do? I'll surf. I can see that? Yeah, you get it. Why did she not get the same camera as you? Dude, that's like so- <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what that sound was. I hate the swagger, it's so stupid. But anyway, she- I told her to get a different model because why would she get the same fucking one, right? And like, she's never even used my camera. So I was telling her, I was like, well, I think it's better to get a different model entirely, that way we can both play around with it and then we can kind of like switch and choose between the two. Because my camera is better for photography, but her camera is going to have, um, it has a better steady cam because it's like AI based, right? So, so it's better for film. So if she wanted to do like a, like a full like YouTube video or something for fun, she'd probably want to use both cameras for like different things. Why does she want to have a camera? Um, so that way she can, like, take pictures when she goes on trips. Because when she went to Japan for the first time, they hired a photographer to take pictures in one of the bamboo forests. And dude, she looked so cute. She looked adorable because they also rented kimonos. And she was like, oh, these are so cool. Like, the, cam the pictures this guy took is so cool. And obviously he had a DSLR. So she was, like, really inspired by that. And, like, it's not often that my sister, like, has, like, hobbies that are actions. Like, she likes watching TV, she likes shows, she likes, uh, weeb shit. But she doesn't like activities as much. And, like, taking pictures is an activity. Editing is an activity. So I was like, oh, this is, this is really nice that she wants to get into this. And it's something that she's been saving up for a long time. So, like, I, I'm genuinely really glad... And I was totally happy to give her, like, the full $400 for that gift card. I was like, shit, you can have it. But yeah, I just, <laughs> I just hope that she, like, keeps using the camera. <laughs> because, like, one of my biggest concerns is that she gets it, is, like, really into it for a month, and then doesn't use it. That would be an L. But I can't control it. You know, I'm honestly really surprised that I didn't get tired of streaming. Mainly, I'll be honest. <laughs> Wait, should I be honest? <laughs> I'll be honest. Now, this is like joking, not joking. But I think it's kind of like really fucking stupid whenever people quit streaming. Like after six months to a year. It's like, homie, you invested probably hundreds, maybe thousands into your streaming setup. Because even getting a fucking capture card is like one to two hundred dollars minimum. I mean, you can get cheapy capture cards, but nobody, everybody buys fucking all dollars. You know, we're indoctrinated by all the ads. So, it's like, how are you going to give up on something after that short amount of time? I think it's really silly. Because a lot of people think that they will gain success quickly, but no, it's it's all about time. And I know you can say, oh, put more work in, put more work in, but yeah, you, you gotta... STOP! You gotta put some work in. Don't a lot of people... Well, well, don't a lot of people quit that fast. Well, wait, what are you saying? I'm confused. That's like one of those double negatives. I don't get it.
But what I will say, the people who do quit, they like, they have like real life obligations, which is like valid. But like, imagine I quit after a year. Boy, what was I even doing two years ago? I like Drew. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Yeah, I think at around the at around the four fifth month mark of me streaming, that's when I started posting to TikTok. I think. Oh yeah. About a year after I started, I was still doing Kirby. I think that was when I when I like just started Super Mario 3D World. No, no, no. Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe. And also 3D World. Man, looking back. I don't I don't know what I would have done differently. I think okay, for sure I would have edited more like long form YouTube content. Like I wish I would have started doing that more two years ago. That way, like, I just got better at editing. Right now, I've only been doing the weekly highlights for, um, almost a year now. Because I've been doing weekly since August. And, like, I feel like I've learned... I, like, obviously, I don't do, like, any After Effects in my videos because I was thinking about it. And, dude, I'm... <laughs> I'm such, like, a LUD bud. Because, like... Obviously, Ludwig is my goat. He was the first ever streamer I ever watched on Twitch. But now he's a YouTube boy. And, like, I watch a lot of his, like, the actual stream and then the edited highlight after. And if you watch his YouTube videos, they're not too punchy. A lot of them are just cutting down and trimming and then some zooms, maybe some motion effects. Like, they're not hyper-edited. And I was thinking to myself, this was like a month ago, I was like, man... Like, you don't need, like, a fantastical production or these super hyper-intense intros to get people to watch it. You just have to have, like, a good enough concept. Like, that's a big reason why I'm not, like, editing down my... Okay, that's the big reason why I'm not editing down every single Mario Kart mod for like a regular YouTube video. Oh my god, Daddy Girl to level 30, let's go! Is he gonna evolve? It's gotta be level 35. So, yeah. Because like, I was kind of like getting insecure about my YouTube edits because I was like, oh, they're nothing special. Like, I don't do any like cool little effects, but. I, I just don't- that's not a priority right now. The, the priority is, I think, shaping, like, the actual meat and potatoes of the video. And then also, like, knowing what is good enough to keep it a final cut. That That is still personally what I really struggle with. Because I just think- okay. I just think, like, every moment has merit to it. But merit does not mean entertaining. I don't think gaming videos need a bunch of editing. I agree. Um, I think an example of a creator who has too much edits is Seadog VA's YouTube highlight channel. Of his, like, Twitch streams. Where it's, like, they're, like, too punchy, almost. Like, it's not focused about the game. It's more about, like, the on-screen effects. Which is fine. It just feels very, like, zoomer-pilled, and I don't necessarily want that at any point. Because then the video becomes, like, more based around what the editor thinks is funny, versus what the actual personality is probably thinking is funny. Because I know for me, a lot of what my, like, planned stream content, like, streams that are for YouTube video, like, you can obviously tell the difference as a viewer. Like... You can obviously tell that I'm, like, try-harding to, like, do little jokes and shit. Or hamming it up for the bit. <coughs> but, like, for a regular gaming stream like Pokemon, you don't gotta do that shit. You're just, you're just vibing. Maybe cracking a few jokes. But that's not, like, the point of a gaming video, usually. That's why, like, I think it's really... Uh... How do I say this? I 
I think if you are a creator who just wants to play games, I think viewers don't want that anymore. Because anybody can play a fucking game on stream. Let's be honest, anybody can do that shit. That's why I think streaming is like the most easiest thing to get into. But people want substance, they want meaning, they want personality. They don't want just some rando who plays Valorant twice a week. Like, you don't watch people for the gameplay, typically. Which, I think I'm a prime example, because like, who, wa who wants to watch me like fail at Mario Kart once every other week? And like, giggle. I don't, okay, where was I going with this point? Oh, okay. Cause like, okay. When I was editing, I was editing this- Wait, guys, new YouTube video! Talking about YouTube, it's in the pin chat. New video. It's an edited highlight of the April Fool's stream. Go watch it. Um, when I was editing in that video, and then I'm also editing, like, obviously shorts and YouTube clips too. So like, those are primarily like Animal Crossing and Mario Kart. Like, <laughs> there was this one moment that happened yesterday morning where I was editing a Mario Kart clip and it was, it'll be uploaded in a few days, but it was Kobobo in chat saying, I think it's so funny whenever your face changes whenever you like mess up. <laughs> and I remember like, I was trying to like hold back a smile in that clip because like it's genuinely so funny. Like, me as a viewer, I love that shit, too. Like, <laughs> I was watching Cutie Lee the other night, and Cutie Lee never clicks Go Live, okay? So whenever you can catch a stream, it's like a treat. And, <laughs> obviously, Cutie Lee, she's learned from me, don't read every single chat. Don't give everybody attention. Like, only read the funny shit. So, it's really funny, because, like, the whole time, I was in her chat for, like, uh, almost an hour. Like, I was, like, trying to make jokes and shit, so... Cause she has a second monitor, so like, she would physically turn her head to look at chat. And it was- it was genuinely so funny to like, see her like, look over, go like this, and then not say anything and play the game. <laughs> like, that was the funniest shit. Cause like, you know that she doesn't want to react, and doesn't want to admit that like, certain shit is funny. It's such a good- like, I need to start doing that bit more, like, it's- I know she's doing that on purpose, but that just makes it funnier. I don't know. So, there was also another moment when I was editing that same Mario Kart stream. The clip will be uploaded soon. But it was... I think... I was just playing Mario Kart, and then I got hit by a green shell. And then, like, a second later, in the VOD, I giggled. And then in real life, I giggled at the same time of the clip as I was editing. Oh, like, oh my god, this is funny. <laughs> I don't know. Like... I've said this before, I think I tweeted this a while ago, actually. But a huge reason why I like going back and editing the old stuff, like, even if it's a year or two old at this point, is because, like, it's still, like, fun to me. Like, whenever I go back and watch an old VOD, I'm like, oh, it feels like I'm reliving this moment. Okay, I need to plant as many pears and berries as possible. <clears throat> and it is also, it's really cute to, like, see how I've changed over the past year or two. Like, definitely, the clips where I'm in this new unit, I'm, like, so much happier. Like, I'm making more jokes. On it, I just want to, like, beat the stupid fucking peace lock. The way, like, I can play some other fucking games. I can always tell your era based on the stream background. Yeah, I think I've had this one for a while. But 
I, I just need to get new paintings out, right? It's actually crazy because, you know, I've debated about still using house paint for the paintings. All of these back here use interior house paint. So like what you would use on your walls and shit. So basically it's super durable. Doesn't fade, like the color does not fade. The only problem is that it's really difficult to color mix. That's why I primarily do like flat designs anyway. Like, the colors look just as vibrant as they did a year ago. I wish I would have kept, like, a painting in a drawer. That way I could actually compare, like, no artificial, no sunlight versus full artificial, full sunlight. Or not sunlight, like, partial sunlight. Because if I would have used acrylic paint for these and not put, like, a varnish or framed it because they have like glass that prevents fading they would be like probably like two shades lighter <clears throat> that's why like if you guys ever have a painting or any type of artwork like a print that you really like make sure you get like the get it custom framed of course and then get the fade resistant glass i don't know what finish it's called but it's a thing they got it at your local michaels don't worry because even if paintings and prints are under artificial light, it'll still fade. Hours W. You know what? I'm glad I have a W chat room and not an L chat room. Do we get some W's in the chat? Looping back around. say almost no Pokemon damn watch this
I know this is a sub only stream. What do you guys want to see me do? Because, I'll be honest, I've already... <laughs> I said I was gonna do just chatting every other week for a... New Year's resolution, I've already failed that. Fuck peace lock. It's ruining everything. <laughs> be happy? Aww. That's too cute. I'm, I'm relatively happy. I want to do a stream where I'm not allowed to smile. But that... Dude, that would be impossible. I don't... Dude, I smile at stupid shit. But, like, it, it would not be, like, reacting to videos. Because everybody does that shit. It would... I'm, I'm working on, like, how I can do that stream. You change your chat color. Sorry. <laughs> That's the first thing I see a chatter about a chatter. Their chat color. It, it's very telling. Orange means... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't see it on the stream background. Dude, <laughs> I'm gay, it's okay. Slay. That's so funny, Kim. You're doing that for the Are you saving the VOD watchers? Thank you. Wait, what's Kim's PFP banner? I have to see. Wait, I have to see. Wait, I can't see it. No, my mod view is broken. I can't see it. It's you? Oh, that's cute. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll send it on Twitter? Okay. You know, I know Kim is doing well whenever she DMs me less on Twitter. And when I say DM, it's just Kim, like, DMing into the void, and then I sometimes react to it with emojis. I never reply back, unless I really need to. <laughs> I don't expect you to. Thank you. I just don't want to be a private account on Twitter based. It's like so scary. Whenever you get a new social media, like, don't ever link your contacts because then that means your employer can look up your account by your phone number. Which, I'll admit, I've done that a few times. Like, I need to see if anybody I hire is a fucking freak. Which, thankfully, nobody was. I sent my header? Okay. My, my social media phone is downstairs, so I'll look at it later. I'm sorry you can't get a live reaction. I don't know why I left it downstairs. Actually, now that I think about it. No say. Pedal. I think a fun concept for like a no smiling stream would be to have channel port redemptions and then the channel port redemptions be TTS and then it's like just chat trying to like make me laugh. I think that's kind of a fun idea but I don't think I would get enough TTS messages. Is the chicken nugget stream ever gonna happen? Also, Kobo, you may have noticed I changed the last word in your sentence. I'm not saying that last word. Even if it's like the appropriate use of that word. But, yeah, I will at some point. But I don't know if it'd be a stream. Maybe I will? I'm not sure. Did you ever finish the chocolatey o chat from last year? No. It's a sub-only stream anyways? That doesn't mean you can- No! 
You guys realize, yes, non-subs can't chat in these streams, non-subs can't watch the VOD, but they still go up on YouTube like a month later. If some psycho- I mean, well, I need- okay, sorry. I've been trying to take out the that word from my vocabulary. I'm sorry. sub only stream. If some, like, freak watches back the VODs, you know? You know what I mean? You didn't finish the birthday cake either? Okay, you guys saw how big that cake was. And I'm not talking about my aunts. Say the word? No! No! Some people get mad on Twitter whenever you use crazy as an adjective. Which... Granted, I, th I think it's just fun to say, like, oh, that's crazy. I don't call... Okay, wait, I do. I rarely call people crazy. Wait, did... Oh, yeah, you did get into an accident on my birthday. She... Your sister got a new car? Wait, slay. <laughs> Didn't they crash the car, though? Damn. You crashed your sister's car? Okay, that's honestly a huge sister L moment. She should have canceled you. They got into an accident recently? Somebody hit them? Dude, this is why, like, I'm never driving a fucking car. Like, I, I just- I can't handle the stress of it. Like, I would be totally fine if I had to, like, ride the bus the rest of my life. I genuinely don't care. Driving in LA sucks? That's what I've heard. Wait, can you guys drive in the rain? Everybody says nobody can drive in the rain. Here in Washington? Obviously it rains all the time, so we know how to drive in the rain, but the snow? Oh, nobody can drive in the fucking snow. <laughs> I didn't tell you something? What was it? I went to the hospital? Oh, really? Shit. I woke up and my vision was gone? Holy fuck. That's scary, man. Are you, like, okay now, though? Wait, you should sue your sister. <laughs> Wait, was this... Wait, was this- wait, no, 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 was this, like, two weeks ago when your eye, like, was fucked up? Wait, is this the accident or the eye incident? Yeah. Fuck, man! Dude, okay, what happened? What happened? We need- we need the tea. I just woke up and my vision was so blurry. Uh-oh. You don't gotta say what it was. But, like, it was the day before I hit my head. Dude, what is going on? <laughs> Are you okay, Kim? Dude, it seems like you always have drama. Shit, man. Fuck. I jumped. I called Mac crying. Aww. Sag. That is one of my biggest fears. Because, like, my big brain condition... Because what it is exactly... It was... Like, my big my brain sticks out past my skull. So part of my brain stem sits on my, my spinal cord and my neck. So, like... There's been some hedge cases... Where people have lost their vision. People have, like... Lost the ability to breathe on their own, to swallow, and I'm just like, ruh row. <clears throat> so, like, the way I see it, like, I just need to be, like, appreciative of what I have now, even if there are some limitations to what I can do. Because obviously, like, I will most likely deteriorate over time, and then also, like, you never know what will happen in life. Like, car accidents are so common. You, you never know what can happen, so... Do what you want to do when you can. Like, don't put things off. Just experience things if you genuinely want to. <clears throat> I thought it was another incident. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
you got new glasses? Are they cute? The last glasses you had, I called them old lady glasses. They're thicker now, like the glass. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll send a selfie? Okay. Okay. I have a slight astigmatism too. Like, I have the... Wait, which eye is it? Oh, okay. So, my left eye... My left eye... I have the astigmatism to where everything is, like, blurry. So everything looks like it's kind of blown out. And then my right eye, everything is shifting up and down. So, like, I have different fucking astigmatisms. And I didn't know until, like, last year. Because, like, I just thought, like, I just had bad eyes. I didn't realize it was astigmatism. And, like, I should have known... Because that technically is what my mom has. I just never knew, like, what it was. Cause an astigmatism is basically where, like, your eye isn't perfectly round. So it's, like, causing your vision to be warped, essentially. And that's what my mom has. And I just didn't know it was called astigmatism. Like, how I kind of found out, like, what it was called was my friend... Dude, poor man. <laughs> he, has, he has one crooked eye. It's a very slight lazy eye. And then both of his eyes have astigmatisms to, like, differing degrees. So, like, he sent me a YouTube video, like, like, visibly, visibly depicting, like, a side-by-side -side of normal vision and then astigmatisms, like, different types. And I was like, holy shit, wait, I have that. Because, obviously, like, I understand, like, what bad vision looks like, because I have partially bad vision. But, like, I didn't really understand what astigmatism is, right? So, I was like, shit, no wonder, like... Because this specific friend, they couldn't join the military because they had astigmatism, which is kind of sad. They were, like, really sad about it. But it's honestly kind of good that they didn't join the military because, like, it would have broken them. Like, it would have broken their brain. <laughs> but... <laughs> I made the glasses picture my new PFP here. Okay, I'm gonna reload my mod view just so I can see your new PFP. I'll do it. No, my mom, you crashed! I hate Google Chrome. I hate Google Chrome. Google, if you want to sponsor me, don't let me sponsor Google Chrome. Because I hate Google Chrome. <clears throat> Wait, it's loaded! That's cute. Cute. It's funny, because in your PFP, Kim, you're like... <laughs> you're doing that little smile. Adding glasses to the collection? Wait, you know how I said earlier I don't return any of my devices? I just keep all my old glasses, too. How was that I hop when I took that picture? It was this morning? <laughs> Dude, why? Okay, what did you get from iHop? I, li I like getting their- Yo, wait, 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 look at this! Yo! Yo! I like getting their crepes. I always get a breakfast crepe. I got a burger? I don't even want to look at you right now. You should have ordered something from the fucking elderly menu or the senior menu, because look at you. Ordering a burger from IHA? And you only ate the fries? Okay, that's like child behavior. I'm sorry. They have burgers at IHOP? Yeah, I remember when they launched burgers. They changed it from International House of Pancakes to Interna House International House of Burgers. And like, everybody online got mad about it. Dude, ordering a burger from IHOP. Imagine. Dude, if you're gonna order a burger... Because, okay, burgers are genuinely so fucking unhealthy for you. Get, like, get it from, like, a nice burger place. Like, McDonald's. <laughs> 
Breakfast for dinner is everything? Man. You know, I'm the type of person to get breakfast at any time of the day. Because growing up, my dad's favorite fast food was Jack in the Box. So it would always be Jack in the Box whenever we got fast food. And I would always get a breakfast Jack. Because that was like on the cheaper breakfast menu. But Jack in the Box breakfast is so good. Nothing beats it. Like they're... Their bagel sandwich? I don't know if they still have it, because I got it like two months ago. But it had sausage, egg, ham, and I think I had bacon in it. But it was so fucking good. I've also tried the Jack in the Box boba. Ooh, not good. Okay, I'm nearing the final berry bush. No, I don't like the electric. He paralyzed me last time. <clears throat> Easy. I think the most underrated thing from the Jack in the Box menu is the... Their tiny tacos. Because the tiny tacos comes with their avocado cream sauce. And the, the sauce is so good. Yup. Boba from there sounds really weird. Yeah, it was not good. You know how you get boba and then the outside is really mushy but the inside is really hard? That means it's just been in the warmer for way too long and it's not good. No bueno, pero... I don't usually order boba pearls anymore because they charge you like a dollar more. Like they're out here scamming. When I gonna have what am I gonna have for dinner on my birthday? Well, I'm still deciding where I wanna go, like for dinner with my sister and stuff. Cause obviously we can't go out on the actual birthday because like my roommates are both working that day at different times. And then so like my one roommate can probably buy like food for me, like when they're heading home. So I'm like deciding. I think last year they got me sushi for my birthday birthday. And then we went out to get I think we got barbecue for my birthday, but this year, I'm kind of thinking sushi. I don't know where from though yet. But honestly, a pizza sounds fucking good. And a pizza could last me the whole 10 hour stream, or I mean the whole 12 hour stream. Um, a mod pizza sounds good. Wait, what if we had chat order my pizza again? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no! Wait, maybe we can do that. I mean, the pizza you guys ordered for me last time wasn't that bad. I just didn't like the spicy stuff. No, we'll only do pizza for my birthday stream if we had a sub goal. That That's it, we'll do that. And you know what else I'll do? Save the game. Because, guys, I've done my berry watering for the day, so it's Jover. Okay, the game is saved. Stopping the timer. I'll get some music on. Wasn't there so many toppings? Yeah, I think there was six toppings that chat chose because every gifter got to choose two. Here's this compilation is called Cute Nintendo Dogs Tunes to Walk Your Dog To. To. <laughs> is the music playing? Oh, I, I just can't hear it. Why is the comp so low? There we go. Was the first or the second pizza you had on stream better? Oh yeah, because chat ordered it was for... No! I think 
guys just ordered my Papa's Pizzeria pizza? Which, no narcs! I might be playing Papa's Pizzeria again this year at some point. No narcs! Okay, I'm writing down my live split timer. Yeah, I think Chad has only ordered my pizza once. Yeah, that's right. I literally went through all of my VODs. That way I can make, like, clips. No, I've only gotten one pizza. It was- the Papa's Pizzeria stream was, like, two years ago, though. Like, it was forever ago. The only other time chat got me food was Burger King. I think you're thinking of that. Yeah, maybe we'll let chat order my pizza. Okay. Guy short stream. As usual. This is probably gonna be the last berry picking stream. Because the plan for this week is Peace Lock Monday, Peace Lock Tuesday. Wednesday? I should do something else on Wednesday, huh? Maybe we'll do the the Spectrum quiz. Hi Alex, can we get some Yo's? Classic clocking in at the end. Classic. Can we get some Yo's? So I think we'll do Peace Luck Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe the Spectrum Quiz. Because I am going to have my sister take it tomorrow or Tuesday. And I did, like, research and talk with friends how best to do that stream, like I said. Um, when is my birthday? Shoot. Okay, why is this song so loud? <laughs> How is Alex always showing at calligraphy? Honestly, a talent? Nah, Alex says they lurk a lot. <laughs> They're in bark. Wait, my birthday's in a week. Wait, <laughs> no way. Okay, I'm still like finalizing like the plan for the birthday stream. Dude, I have a week. week i have i have two four six i have nine days to beat the peace lock i'll do it don't worry don't worry didn't you already plan it all yeah i'm still like finalizing like the times in which i do set activities because I'm, I'm determining like because i might save some of the segments that people suggested for like what you call it for like just regular just chatting streams like mac had some good ideas okay somebody used their channel points we're gonna do calligraphy really 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 quick because i want to go finish watching fallout Mac planned so much. Dude, I know. Did, did you and Kim see their plan? It was actually so sweet. Like, endearing. <laughs> no, I, I, don't, I don't think Mac is here right now. But legit, if I ever need a producer, Mac is like first pick. Because producer is usually like somebody who is the idea guy, and they also execute the idea. You didn't see the plan? It's- It's really cute. <laughs> they, like, outlined everything. And it was really- It was actually a really good doc, because for any of the games that Max suggested, they, they inserted, like, a hyperlink. So that was really helpful. But thank you, Alex, for redeeming. Do we have anybody else who wants the new to redeem now? Mac goes hard when they do stuff like that. I, I've called Mac this before, but there's side quest Andy. Now, you guys can't, like, snitch. Because th this is, like, a well-kept secret. Okay, you have to promise not to snitch. But...
if I ever, like, need a, like, an actual crew or team, I would only hire from the fan base or community. That's why, like, I will say things, I'll, I'll plant seeds, like, you know, the gaslighters do. Because if I can afford a team, what I want, producer, I want a photographer. That way I can, like, post an IG more. Photographer, once a week. Freelance. Producer, full-time. Editor, I would want... Ooh! I would want three editors. One for the main channel, one for the clips channel, and then one for the gaming channel. Yeah, I think that's what I want. I would want a team of four to five. That's the dream. We need to increase the sub prices so we can get the animated emotes? Don't worry. I was partially joking, not joking, when I said I'd add the animated emotes. Whenever they increase the sub price. Which, they are going to increase in the US. I know they are. I know they are. But, um... Also, I need to uncopyright my VODs on YouTube. I keep forgetting. My only concern with, um, people doing fan edits is that YouTube's copyright system is, like, really aggro sometimes. So, like, even, like, the OG content creator, they'll get themselves, like, demonetized and copyrighted from, like, their VOD channel. Which is stupid. So, I have to think. Like, obviously, I don't want people... I don't- I don't want a copyright streak. I don't want a copyright strike people if they, like, make edits of me. And then I also don't want them to copyright strike me. So, like, I need to figure out if I need to... put a Creative Commons license on all of my videos? Like, even the main channel YouTube and the Clips channel? I don't know. Do we have anybody else who wants their name written? Redeem now! Do it now! Yeah, sub prices did increase in the UK, I think it was two months ago. But Twitch did say that they are going to increase the prices in other countries later this year. So, Americans, get ready. I mean, they increased the price of Twitch Turbo by like $2 this year. I got scammed. It used to be like ten dollars, but now it's twelve. Like thirteen dollars after taxes. Such a big scam. It just makes my prime sub more worth it. Yeah, I guess. They raised Spotify prices last year, too. It's just goddamn Bidenomics. I thought he was trying to stop the price of gouging. What the hell? Okay. Guys, short stream. About to hit an hour. The plan is simple. This week... I just need to fucking beat Peace Lock, which hopefully I'll beat by my birthday, but we'll see. Plan is simple. Monday Peace Lock, Tuesday Peace Lock, Wednesday, maybe Mario Kart or like a planned stream. I, I need to get more YouTube content made. Or YouTube raw footage. And then Thursday, no stream probably. I think, I think my new weekly stream schedule is Thursday. Is going to be an off day, like no stream, but it's going to be my editing day. Like I need a designated day to edit because I think editing like an hour or two every day is not working. It's not working for me. So I think I'm going to make Thursday my editing days and then Friday sub only streams. That'll still stay. And I'm going to stream on the weekends whenever I can. But definitely once I'm done with Peace Lock, I'll have a lot more time. But... I think what I've learned after doing the peace lock, like, I can handle longer streams now. I can handle, like, six to eight hour streams and be, like, 
okay after. So, I think that just means for like any game that is longer, I can do in a shorter amount of days. If it's a game like the Peach game, I can probably do that in one sitting if I really tried. Oh, there's also like a Peach platformer game on the DS, which I'll just have to get a DS and maybe we can play it. Because, okay, sub only stream, sub only stream. But I think a really funny bit would be um, saying I'm going to play the Peach game and then I play the DS one. <laughs> <laughs> I think that'd be funny. I'd be like, guys, I got the Peach game! And then I whip out the DS version. I think that'd be kind of funny. I don't know, I'll think about it. Okay. Well, you guys enjoy the rest of your night. It's 5pm for me, so it's probably late for some of y'all. If you want something to watch, new YouTube video, it's an edited highlight of the How to Be a Streamer stream. So go watch now for some really good Twitch tips, you know, from the GOAT, peace in underscore 17. <laughs> uh, go watch that. And if you aren't already, make sure you're at least subscribed to the YouTube channel. It helps me out a lot. It genuinely does. Because if I get 500 subs on the main channel, by the end of the year, I for sure will be monetized. I'm definitely gonna hit the hours watched if I grow to 500 subs, so go subscribe, guys. Okay, I'm gonna wrap it here for today. Thank you, any chatters, lurkers. Thank you for hanging out today. Short stream. But do not worry, tomorrow, peace luck. A full day of peace luck continues tomorrow. We're gonna go explore Moss Deep and go check out the Team Aqua Base. So if you don't wanna miss it, make sure you're watching. I'll probably stream at like, um, maybe 10 or 11 tomorrow. I gotta get some edits done in the morning. Like, I gotta get some more clips made. Because whenever I edit clips, I usually edit like a month in advance and then I don't gotta do shit for two weeks. So I, I do batch edits. The final minute. Do you guys have any last words for me? Move into my apartment tomorrow? Yo, let's go. You got your own place? Nice. That's so cool. I'm proud of you, man. That means you can, like, play whatever you want on the TV and nobody else can take the remote from you. This honestly is such a slave. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy for you, man. That's really good. Okay, guys. I'm gonna go. Have a good night. I'm gonna go watch probably the rest of the fucking Fallout series. <laughs> Okay, have a good night. I'll see you all tomorrow in the morning. Like, they're probably like 10 or 11. Normal peace in time. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.